Yo, what's up world? It is your boy Filosco here, reporting live from Saratov, making a quick video for you guys. Uh, this video is uh, another one of my me speaking videos, and this one's kind of for people who are 16 and over, you know, not really, you don't have to be 18 or 21, just 16 or over, this video may be good for you. This is uh, three types of women, three types of women that uh, men meet a lot in the dating game, you know. So this is really for single men. I mean, if you have a girlfriend, okay, you can watch. If you have a wife, okay, you can watch. But this is more for the men who, like, they're seeking women and they're trying to get relationships. Maybe they want a serious relationship. Maybe they don't want a serious relationship, but they just want somebody next to them, okay? So let's get to it. Three different types of women. The first type of woman I'm going to speak about is the sugar mama. Now the sugar mama is like, uh, she's usually older, usually older, but she has to be, she has to be providing things for you, usually in exchange for sex or some kind of loving relationship. So most of the guys who get sugar mamas are guys who don't have their own apartments, they don't have a car, they don't have much money, so what do they do? They would date a woman they don't really like that much only because she has money because that sugar mama is supplying them with food, money. It's almost as if like, it's almost, now not literally, but it's almost as if the woman is doing everything the guy's mother would do, but then more, you know what I mean? So she take care of you, give you a place to stay, all this stuff, but at the same time you're dating. That's why she's called a sugar mama. She's basically like your mother, but she's doing more things. She's usually older, but she could be younger. I've met younger sugar mamas, and it's not so much that they were rich, it's that their parents were rich. So let's say here, I ran into this uh, actually more in Russia than in America. Uh, it's apparently, from what I hear, it's harder to get your own apartment in Russia than it is in America. So it's common for a lot of um, Russians to live with their parents longer than how long we live with our parents in America. That's usually how it is. So sometimes, you can meet a 16-year-old, a 17-year-old, a 19-year-old with their own apartment because their parents left it to them because their parents have money. And those girls, 19, 18 years old, they're likely to let you live with them. They'll provide for you. They'll care for you if you date them. So sugar mamas can be younger. It's possible. But the vast majority of the time, sugar mamas are older, okay? And they're usually not that attractive because if they're very attractive, they don't really need to... Um, to have you, like you're not that special. They don't really need to have you. They could get like a real man with his own money and they put their money together and get like a house or something. But usually when she's a sugar mama, it's because she's usually not that attractive. And so she'll go for you because you don't have much, but she knows you kind of need her. She basically knows it. It's like, oh, he don't have any money. You know, he doesn't have any place to go. So he has to be with me. That's right. He needs me. And sugar mamas are a little controlling. So, um, don't try to talk to another girl in front of your sugar mama. She'll embarrass the hell out of you. And remember, you got to go home with her that night. Because if you don't, you might be homeless. Those other pretty cute girls you like, they probably still live with their parents. But this older, not too attractive woman, she kind of owns you. So as long as you're with her, you better behave, all right? That's a sugar mama. Now to the next kind of woman out there. The next kind of woman is a tease. There are a lot of women called flirts or teases. Teasing is a little more severe version of a flirt. So let's focus on tease. We're going to uh, focus on two things here. A tease and blue balls. <laughs> if you're American or you know what blue balls is, I'm pretty sure you're laughing right now. But you got to learn this. So first of all, a tease. A tease is a kind of woman. Uh, a tease is a kind of woman to really make you think you're going to get something that you're not. She's an expert at making you think you're going to get something sexual when you're not. So you may meet her at a bar and she's like, and she doesn't need you to buy her a drink. She may be buy you a drink. You know, she's not looking for your money at all. She's looking for your, she's looking, she's looking to make you think she's going to fulfill your fantasy. So a tease is likely to walk up to you and be like, oh, you know, you're so handsome. And the whole night she'll be rubbing your face, maybe even kissing you, being so nice to you. And then when you finally say, Oh, baby, you know, we're having so much fun. Why don't we just go to my house? She's likely to be like, uh, no. <laughs> just walk away. Or even, she would go with you to your house. She'd go with you to your house. And then when it's time to go to sleep, she's like, oh, I'm just so tired. I just want to go to sleep. And she'll just go to sleep. She's a tease. And while she's going to sleep, she'll be like this. She's happy. A lot of women enjoy watching a man want them. 
So when a woman's teasing you, what she's watching is like you just dying for her. Let's say your guy's like, oh baby, you know, all the compliments, just please, like when you're in your most desperate, you know, when you're in the mood and you know, you've been drinking and you just want to take her home and she just wants you to just get so excited over her. She just loves it. And at the last moment, when you think you're pretty sure it's gonna happen, maybe you're both naked, who knows, you're in the bed, she's like, baby, I'm too tired. Or baby, I'm on my period. And she enjoys it. That is a tease, and a tease usually does it to numerous guys because she just finds it fun. You know, she finds it fun. A lot, a lot of guys get very angry at teases. No, get very angry, but it's not illegal. It's, <laughs> it's not illegal, man. It's your fault. You know, it's hard to distinguish a tease from a real girl. But the way I think I could distinguish the difference if is, is if some girl is like all over you, and she just met you, and she knows nothing about you. It's either she's a tease or she's something else we're about to learn, but I'll get to it. Now, to blue balls. Blue balls isn't a kind of girl, it's, it's in the same department as being teased. Now, when a girl, te now a tease is a noun, it's also a verb. The verb basically, in this case, a tease is to really make a guy get really sexually excited for nothing. To get him very sexually excited for nothing, like strippers. Their job is to tease you, strip tease. That's their job, to tease you. But if she's not a stripper, she's just a tease. You know, she's doing what a stripper does, except she's, she's not looking for money. She's just getting you sexually excited for nothing. Now, blue balls is when a man is really expecting to release things from his body. When he's really expecting to do that. You know, the body's like, the body's in the, the, the mode of, okay, we're about to mate, we're about to have sex. It's gonna happen, okay, so let's prepare for it. The body's preparing for it. For hours and hours and hours, the body's preparing for, yeah, we're gonna have sex, we're gonna have sex. And then when you don't, the balls or the eggs or the testicles, whatever you wanna call them, get big. And especially when you wake up the next morning or whatever, they hurt because they're so full and you're expecting, to, your body was expecting to release this stuff. You know, those are called blue balls. So a lot of time when a girl is teasing you for hours and hours and hours, you're gonna have pain down there and it's going to hurt and that's known as blue balls, okay? That's when you got teased by a tease so well that she tricked you, she tricked your mind, she tricked your body and nothing happened. So, now your testicles hurt. Those are called blue balls. Now let's get to the next and last one for today. Number three is a slut. Now, basically what a slut is, the best definition for a slut is a woman who has the average man mentality when it comes to sex. A woman who has the average man mentality when it comes to sex. Now, what is the average man mentality? Well, the average man, uh, he can have sex with numerous women and it's normal for him. That's basically what a slut is. A slut is a woman who has sex with numerous men and it means nothing to her. You know, she doesn't feel bad about it. It's just normal. It's just whatever, I'm just having fun. Now, a slut is usually used as a bad thing but you know, there's a lot of groups out there, especially in America, where if you're the kind of woman who likes to have sex with a lot of guys, hey, that's your business. We don't care. That's your business. But it depends on what country, what a culture, what religion, all that stuff, you know, it matters. So it makes a slut look good or bad, but generally a slut is bad. Now, um, what constitutes as a slut? Like how many men would a woman have to have sex with in order to be considered a slut? Like how many men in one month? Well, to be honest, there's no number to it. It's all about the mentality. When the average man goes out to a party, he's hoping to at least meet a woman to have sex with sometime. Duh, yes, when you're an adult, these are things that happen. He's looking for a girl that he can have sex with sometime, the vast majority of the time. But if a woman honestly goes out and she's thinking, man, hopefully I find a guy to have sex with you know, at this party. If she's thinking that instead of, oh, I'm hoping to find a guy I can talk to, get close to, maybe be a boyfriend one day and I can be with him for a long time, then she's probably a slut, probably. But the rules are loose, depending on where you come from, the rules are loose. With me personally, if a woman is the kind of woman who has sex with a lot of guys, but she's open about it, and she doesn't have sex with numerous guys in one group, to me she's not a slut. So for example, let's say a woman goes to Florida, she has sex with a guy for a week. She goes to uh, Georgia, she has sex with a different guy for a week. She goes to Russia, has sex with a different guy. She goes to Germany. None of that has anything to do with each other, and you know, she's honest about it to me, she's not a slut. She's just enjoying herself. But when a woman becomes a slut to me is when a woman is dating numerous guys in the same group. I never liked that, and I found that to be dirty and nasty. So let's say one day, a girl's dating me. You know, we're dating, we're doing things. The next week, she starts dating my friend. 
Then after that, she started dating his brother. That is a slut because she's causing problems between guys with her sexual activity. She's causing problems, and usually they do it for they do it because they want to do it. You know, a lot of sluts cause problems because yeah, they sleep with a lot of guys, but they shouldn't sleep with a lot of guys of the same group because that causes problems. You understand? And a slut, um, and also sluts are likely to. I wouldn't say not be attractive. I mean, of course, sluts can be attractive, but usually when you're a slut, you don't care about yourself that much. You probably smoke cigarettes all the fucking time. You probably have sex with guys without a condom. You know, so generally, sluts aren't good. They probably drink too much, slightly alcoholic. So you, you got the point. But just a lot of people think sluts um, deal with prostitution. You don't have to make money to be a slut having sex. Not at all. That's just a prostitute. You no, know? they're completely separate. I guess a slut almost has as much sex as a prostitute, only different is she's not making money. So prostitutes are business sluts. That's what a prostitute is, a business slut. But a slut is basically a girl who can have sex with a lot of guys, just like a guy who can have sex with a lot of girls. So that's basically it, people, giving you another informal lesson. Uh, we learned about sugar mamas, we learned about sluts, and we learned about teases. Now, I don't think teases are sluts. Teases are not sluts, okay? Teases are like baby sluts. They pretend to be sluts just to get you excited. And that's basically it. I don't, hope I didn't offend anyone. It says 16 and over. If you watch this, you're not 16 and you're offended. Too bad. If you're someone who, who is 16 and older and you're offended, why are you watching the video? It says on the cover of the video, I'm teaching sluts, sugar mamas, and um, sluts, sugar mamas, and teases. Why would you watch it if you don't want to learn about that stuff? So that's basically it. I'm out. Later.